The global semiconductor industry is at a crossroads. President Trump's recent announcement of a $100 billion investment in U.S. semiconductor manufacturing has sent shockwaves through the sector. This move, while significant, comes in the wake of a bolder maneuver by China, a complete severing of ties with Western semiconductor giants ASML and TSMC. This decision marks a watershed moment in the escalating technological rivalry between the two superpowers. It signals China's unwavering commitment to achieving semiconductor self-sufficiency, even at the cost of short-term disruption. The stakes are incredibly high. Semiconductors are the lifeblood of the modern digital economy. They power everything from smartphones and laptops to artificial intelligence and advanced weaponry. Control over this critical technology is paramount to economic and geopolitical dominance in the 21st century. China's decisive move is a clear indication that it intends to compete and ultimately lead in the race for technological supremacy. The U.S., long accustomed to its position as the global leader in semiconductor design and manufacturing, now faces a formidable challenge. The Trump administration's $100 billion investment is a recognition of the threat posed by China's ambitions. However, it remains to be seen whether this financial commitment will be enough to maintain U.S. dominance in this strategically vital industry. The battle lines have been drawn. The coming years will witness an intense competition for technological supremacy, with profound implications for the global balance of power. China's decision to cease all future purchases and technical engagements with ASML and TSMC is a calculated gamble. It signifies a decisive shift in strategy, a move away from dependence on Western technology towards a future of self-reliance. For years, China has been the world's largest importer of semiconductors, relying heavily on companies like ASML for essential equipment and TSMC for advanced chip fabrication. This dependence, however, has become increasingly untenable in the face of escalating U.S. sanctions and export controls. The Dutch government's recent decision to revoke ASML's license to export its cutting-edge EUV lithography machines to China, under pressure from the U.S., was a turning point. This move, effectively cutting off China's access to the most advanced chip-making technology, exposed the vulnerability inherent in relying on foreign suppliers. China's response was swift and unambiguous. By severing ties with ASML and TSMC, China is sending a clear message. It will no longer be held hostage to the whims of foreign governments or the commercial interests of Western corporations. This bold move is not without its risks. In the short term, China's domestic semiconductor industry may face setbacks and delays. ASML and TSMC are industry leaders, possessing unparalleled expertise and technological prowess. Replacing them will require significant investment, innovation, and time. However, the potential long-term rewards are immense. By achieving self-sufficiency in semiconductor manufacturing, China can control its own technological destiny. It can break free from the constraints imposed by U.S. sanctions and chart its own course in the digital age. This strategic autonomy is crucial for China's continued economic growth and its ambition to become a global leader in artificial intelligence and other cutting-edge technologies. The roots of China's recent actions lie in years of escalating tensions and increasingly stringent sanctions imposed by the United States. These sanctions, primarily targeting China's burgeoning tech sector, have been a major driving force behind China's push for self-reliance in semiconductor manufacturing. The U.S. government under successive administrations has viewed China's technological rise with growing apprehension. Concerns over intellectual property theft, unfair trade practices and the potential military applications of advanced technologies have fueled a policy of containment. This has manifested in a series of increasingly aggressive measures designed to stifle China's technological progress. In 2018, the U.S. Department of Commerce placed ZTE, a Chinese telecommunications giant, on a trade blacklist, effectively crippling the company by cutting it off from vital U.S. components. This was followed by a similar ban on Huawei, another Chinese tech champion, in 2019. These actions sent shockwaves through the global tech industry, highlighting the vulnerability of Chinese companies to U.S. pressure. The U.S. government also imposed restrictions on the export of sensitive technologies including semiconductors to China. These restrictions have tightened significantly in recent years, culminating in the Dutch government's decision to block ASML's EUV lithography machine sale. These sanctions have had a profound impact on China's tech sector, 
they have exposed the risks of relying on foreign suppliers for critical technologies and underscored the need for greater self-sufficiency. China's leadership has recognized that true technological independence requires mastering the entire semiconductor supply chain, from design and manufacturing to packaging and testing. This realization has spurred a nationwide effort to bolster domestic chip production capabilities. In the face of mounting pressure from the US, China's domestic semiconductor industry has responded with remarkable resilience and ingenuity. Backed by substantial government support and driven by a sense of national urgency, Chinese companies are making significant strides in closing the technological gap with their Western counterparts. SMIC, China's leading chip manufacturer, has emerged as a key player in this effort. Despite being cut off from the most advanced EUV lithography machines, SMIC has continued to push the boundaries of chipmaking technology. The company is reportedly experimenting with advanced techniques like quad patterning and AI-driven yield tuning to produce chips at increasingly smaller nodes. While SMIC still lags behind TSMC in terms of technological sophistication, its progress has been impressive. Another notable case is High Silicon, Huawei's chip design subsidiary. Despite being blacklisted by the US, HySilicon managed to develop the Kirin 9000, a 5 nanometer chipset that powered Huawei's flagship smartphones. This achievement demonstrated that Chinese companies are capable of innovating at the cutting edge of semiconductor technology, even under duress. Beyond these established players, a new generation of Chinese semiconductor companies is emerging, challenging the dominance of Western firms in specific niches. For instance, Yangtze Memory Technologies Corp., or YMTC, has become a major player in the NAND flash memory market, competing directly with the likes of Samsung and Micron Technology. The progress made by China's domestic semiconductor industry is a testament to the country's technological prowess and its determination to overcome adversity. While challenges remain, China is rapidly closing the gap with the West in semiconductor manufacturing. This trend has significant implications for the future of the global tech landscape. The global semiconductor landscape is undergoing a profound transformation. With China accelerating its technological advancements, traditional powerhouses like the US, South Korea, and Taiwan are being forced to rethink their strategies. The race for semiconductor supremacy is no longer just about innovation, it's about securing supply chains, fostering domestic talent, and forming strategic alliances. Countries are now investing heavily in their semiconductor sectors, recognizing the critical role these tiny chips play in the broader economy and national security. As China continues to rise, the balance of power in the semiconductor world is shifting, heralding a new era of competition and collaboration. So what does this mean for the future? Well, we might be witnessing the dawn of a new world order in technology, the dominance of Western tech giants is being challenged like never before, and the implications are vast. From consumer electronics to advanced AI systems, the ripple effects of this shift will be felt across industries. Companies and countries alike must navigate this evolving landscape with agility and foresight. The technological playing field is leveling, and those who can adapt will thrive in this new era of innovation and competition. As we look ahead, it's clear that the path of innovation is ever-changing. The semiconductor industry, once dominated by a few key players, is now a dynamic and competitive field. The rise of China's semiconductor capabilities is just one part of a larger narrative of global technological advancement. To stay ahead, companies must not only innovate but also collaborate, diversify, and anticipate the next big shift. The future of technology is being written today, and the course of innovation will be charted by those who dare to push boundaries and embrace the unknown.